Welcome back to the Luxury Cars Review. The Dornier Du 228 is a twin-engine, high-wing aircraft originally designed for short regional flights, and it's mainly used in roles such as passenger transport, cargo, surveillance, and military operations. While the 2025 version of the Dornier Du 228 does not represent an entirely new design, some modern updates and improvements have been made to its exterior compared to earlier models. Here's a detailed description of the exterior design, fuselage shape size, the fuselage of the Dornier Du 228 is streamlined, with a relatively compact, boxy appearance. It has a cylindrical structure with smooth contours, designed to maximize internal space for passengers and cargo. The 2025 model retains its rugged, versatile design, but with modern materials for enhanced durability and reduced weight. Construction materials. The aircraft's fuselage is constructed using a combination of aluminium alloys and composite materials. These are lightweight, yet strong enough to endure stresses of short regional flights. Cockpit. The cockpit features a streamlined nose with a bubble-shaped canopy providing optimal visibility for the pilots. The cockpit is equipped with modern avionics, such as glass cockpit displays, which have become standard in newer versions of the aircraft. Passenger, cargo door. On the side of the fuselage, a large sliding door is present for passenger boarding and cargo loading. The cargo version features additional doors for ease of access and loading unloading wings wing configuration the do 228 has a high wing configuration meaning the wings are mounted on top of the fuselage rather than at the midpoint or bottom this configuration enhances lift and stability especially in rough or turbulent weather conditions winglets the 2025 model likely incorporates advanced winglets at the tips of the wings designed to reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency by controlling airflow. Material design, the wings are made from lightweight, high-strength materials such as composite materials and aluminium. The aerodynamic profile of the wings is optimized for both short takeoff and landing, still performance and fuel efficiency at cruising speeds. Flaps and ailerons, the wings are equipped with flaps and ailerons to assist in maneuvering, especially for takeoff and landing. Engines and engine mounts engines, the Du 228 is equipped with two turboprop engines, usually Pratt Whitney Canada PT6A27 engines. These engines are mounted on the wings. Just outboard of the fuselage, these engines provide high power for short takeoffs and low speed stability. Exhaust systems, the engine exhaust pipes are mounted on the rear of the engine nasals. These are designed to efficiently handle the exhaust gases while minimizing heat signatures for military or surveillance applications. Tail section impenage, the tail section consists of a vertical stabilizer, fin, and horizontal stabilizers, tailplane which provides stability and control. The vertical stabilizer is slender and slightly angled, while the horizontal stabilizers are relatively wide and located just behind the fuselage. Elevators rudders, the horizontal stabilizers have elevators, and the vertical stabilizer is equipped with a rudder for directional control. These components allow the aircraft to make fine adjustments during flight, particularly during turns climbs, and descents. Anti-stall and safety features. The tail section also houses anti-stall devices, ensuring the aircraft maintains stability at lower speeds. A critical feature for the types of short field operations the Du-228 is often used for. Landing gear configuration. The aircraft is equipped with a retractable tricycle landing gear. The main landing gear wheels are located under the wings, with the nose wheel located in the front of the fuselage. Tires. The tires are designed for rough or short airstrips, typically featuring rugged tread patterns for optimal performance on uneven surfaces. Wheel wells. The main landing gear attracts into the fuselage, and the nose gear attracts forward into the nose. The wheel wells are streamlined to reduce drag when the landing gear is retracted. Paint and livery The 2025 version of the Dornier Du 228 may feature updated paint schemes that reflect modern design trends. 
with sleek lines and vibrant colors for both commercial and military versions. For commercial use, the livery can be customized by airlines, but it typically features a clean, professional appearance with minimal branding and logos. Camouflage options Military and surveillance versions may feature camouflage paint jobs or darker color schemes, tailored for operational needs like blending in with natural landscapes or reducing visibility in specific environments. Lighting and exterior details The exterior lighting system includes standard navigation lights, red and green wingtip lights, strobe lights, landing lights, and position lights. The lights are mounted at various locations on the aircraft, including on the wings, tail, and fuselage, and are designed to improve visibility during both day and night operations. Pylons, for military or surveillance variants, there may be pylons for mounting additional equipment or weapons systems, though these would typically be absent in commercial variants. In summary, the 2025 Dornier Do 228 retains the classic features of its design, such as a high wing configuration, twin turboprop engines, and robust fuselage, with enhancements in materials, efficiency, and functionality to meet modern aviation needs. The exterior is a blend of practicality, ruggedness, and modern technology to cater to both civilian and military users. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon.